Fulcher of the Cauji, welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. This week we're coming to you from the beautiful Eris Coast Hotel in Gisela in County Mayo. And we have a wonderful programme for you in a show called uh, Kjol on Imel, which is music from the sea. And we are going to feature some of the best known acts here in the whole of North Mayo. And it's going to be over a two week programme and I know you're going to enjoy particularly our diaspora because I know they have a very strong link with home and particularly Mayo. So a lot of the artists you will know over the years. And uh, can I just mention as well, following our programme, we'll be crossing over to Manchester. We'll be joining uh, Martin Logan, who will be bringing us more stories from the Irish in the UK. That's coming up right after our programme here. So to get the show off rolling, we have a wonderful entertainer who's been around quite, for quite a while, uh, playing up and down the dance halls and then later on the pubs. But now he has a new a uh, bit of life, uh, playing in nursing homes and that. But a wonderful entertainer, and he was playing earlier on this evening here in the hotel just to get the crowd in good form for tonight's show. So would you put your hands together and please welcome the one and only from North Mayo indeed, and uh, Damien McHale. Thank you, Emily. Shattered, don't you see? But you no longer care for me. I miss the wonder of your kiss. How could you leave me here like this? You stop the world and let me off. I'm tired of going round and round. I play the game of love and loss You stop the world and let me on All right. Shatter, don't you see that you no longer care for me? I miss the wonder of your kiss. How could you leave me here like this? Well, stop the world and let me on. I'm tired of going round and round. I play the game of love and loss You stop the world and let me Stop the world and let me on I'm tired of going round and round I play the game of love and loss You stop the world and let me on Stop the world and let me on. Thank you. I mean, uh, you're a long time in the business now, aren't you? Well, I think looking around uh, and meeting all these people today, you could classify me as being the granddad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am a granddad. <laughs> but uh, I do remember, must be 40 years ago. Since I met yourself as a young man, my God, and the encouragement you gave me in the in the in the business, and with especially with the recordings, so great to see you. Great for both of us to be here after yeah, all those years. After all those years, we're still here. Thank God, um, Damien. You you're not playing the pubs as much now or the the other venues because you're concentrating an awful lot now in nursing homes. Well, that all came about a few years ago. A friend of mine who was um, a uh, matron of a, of a nursing home asked me would I come in and entertain the residents for, you know, every now and again. And I simply fell in love with it. And I, it dawned on me the, the wonderful gift it is to be able to entertain our senior residents. Mm. And so one nursing home 
another phone call came and another. So I realized that this this is my calling at the moment. So, and as as I, if I may, as I'm here, I'd like to send greetings to all the wonderful residents, so special, and the wonderful staff of all the HSC nursing homes that I play in and the Summits nursing homes that I play in. So greetings to you all, wherever you are. And, so, and do you miss the, the other thing then, the, the, the pubs and the dances yeah. that you used to yeah. play at? Well, I still do the odd, uh, maybe family occasion, but I don't because... Uh, I go to see p people perform, and mm -hmm. in actual fact, the last uh, only few evenings ago, I went to see Tommy, Tommy Maloney perform, and it lifted my heart to see all of the young people that were there, and just lashing it out to the old ballads and the lively tunes, and it, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, just when I was leaving Kalala today, I uh, there, there was a busload of tourists, and they popped off the bus, and they were taking photographs of the cathedral, mm -hmm. and. At night time, wherever they're going to be tonight, they're going to go to a hotel mm -hmm. or a bar and they expect to be entertained. Mm -hmm. And what they want is country music, ballads and Irish. Yeah. And it's, it's, we're, we're, I think we're a great nation that we can provide that. Yeah, and, and that's what we're noted for. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my next guest certainly put uh, Bell Mullet on the map, not just here in Ireland, but indeed internationally, when she appeared on the singing competition, the biggest one in the UK called The Voice. And even the judges were wowed by her voice. I'm delighted to say she's joining me here uh, today. Very welcome indeed, Chantelle. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> I suppose a lot's been happening to you since the, your appearance on The Voice. It has. It was definitely a whirlwind of a couple of years and there's more exciting things to come, thankfully, from being on The Voice UK. So it really was a massive platform which has helped me out and continues to help me out. I get to do things like this with you. <laughs> and of course, uh, likes of Tom Jones and Ollie Moore, they were raving about your voice, an <laughs> incredible voice. Well, I have to say, um, I didn't actually realise Tom Jones had such a grow for Irish people. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Celtic people he called us. He, uh, he said that Welsh and Irish people have great voices. So that was a great thing to hear from such a legend. So uh, yeah, that was cool. So we're going to be losing you now for a while. You're Australia bound. Yes, I am. I'm going to take the scary plunge to head down under to Australia. I'm going to head to Sydney and going to go for a couple of months, uh, do some shows and yeah, see what comes of it. I would imagine it'd be a huge welcome for you in Australia amongst the Irish, particularly diaspora. Well, hopefully there is a lot of Irish mm. and particularly a lot of people here from Eris that are out mm. there. So it'll be great to see them. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll bring some exciting things. Well, we wish you well with that. We'll be keeping an eye on your progress over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're going to sing a song for us. Uh, it was one of your early recordings, a nice country song. Yeah, it's a song that was originally written and recorded by one of my favourite female artists. Her name is Maren Morris and she is making a massive name for herself out in the States. So yeah, it was a song that I could really connect to and I just thought it was so catchy. And it was actually a man that is appearing here also on this show, Michael S. Taher, that first showed the song to me and he was like, I think you'd do a great version of this. And I'd never heard it before. So I owe it to him. <laughs> great. Well, we're looking forward to hearing, I'm sure our audience at home is as well. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> I've cursed on the Sunday I've cheated and I've lied I've fallen down from grace A few too many times But I find holy redemption When I put this car in drive I roll the windows down and turn up the dark Can I get a hug? Cold, cold, I'm burning Hotter than a ring of fire This wonderful world gets heavy And I need to find my escape I just keep the wheels rolling 
radio score till the sins pass away. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Feels like the Holy Ghost running through ya. When I play the highway then then I find my soul revival, singing every single verse. Yeah. Sitting by the fire beside, whether you do jeed in your gob, you are sitting by the fireside from the clear daylight of dawn, and you never will be able for to blow the rocks upon. All my shoes, they are well worn now, and my stockings, they are thin, and my heart is always trembling now, for fear they might give in. While my heart is always trembling now, from the clear daylight of dawn. That I never will be able for to blow the rocks upon. So rise up, girl, and sweetie boy, and give your heart some hay, and give him a good feed of oats before you start the day. Don't feed them on soft turnips Let them out on yon green lawn Are you never well be able for To blow the rocks upon
Well, I wish that Patrick Sarsfield had sent for me in time and a place me in some regiment all in my youth and prime. I'd fight for Ireland's glory, boys, from the clear daylight of dawn. And I never would be turned again for to blow the rocks upon. Joe Carey, what a wonderful performance of the Rocks of Bond. I know it's one of your favourite songs. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, it should uh, come in there. There'd be a few more like as well. But uh, the thing about the, I think about the Rocks of Bond, there'd be some songs that would be maybe very popular in certain parts of the country. Yeah. And uh, there's others that uh, wouldn't. Uh, but the one thing about the Rocks of Bond, no matter where in Ireland you go, it's always one of the, the favourite songs, uh, mm. whether you're in Kerry or Cork or Donegal or wherever. Mm. And, of course, there's a lot of uh, discussion around where it was the Rocks of Bond. Some people claim they were in the Midlands near Athlone, but mm. uh, other people claim they were in Sligo and different places. <laughs> Are you going to claim them in Mayo here yeah, now? <laughs> there was... A, there was um, the the version there, you know, the, some said that I wish the Queen of England, and yes. some said the Sergeant Major, whatever. But yeah. that version where Patrick Sarsfield, it was a man from Milton Malbay that uh, put that line into it there. So, <laughs> yeah. well, you had the authentic original version of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And a wonderful tin whistle playing there by Marie Walsh. Marie Walsh, right. yeah, from yeah. from from originally Port Tumna, but now living in Ordmore, you know, so we call her the Galway Shaw. <laughs> Another one of your favourite songs. How is the ballad scene doing in general, do you think, Joe? I uh, I suppose uh, it's uh, changed a bit. Like, I, I know COVID changed everything there and, uh, you know, the pub scene, mm. it's really not back to where it was, but it, it was changing anyways beforehand. But And still, it's still, it's still, uh, the still, yeah, it's still alive mm. and well and people are singing and, Good friend of mine there who passed away recently, Sean Garvey from Carasavine. He used to do a wonderful version of, of the boys of Barnes Roger. And act, actually, that's where he died in the house in Barnes Roger. Mm -hmm. And uh, he passed away suddenly there just about 10 days ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. so a great loss to the, to the scene as well as a great singer, a great musician. You know. Well, you're certainly keeping the ballad scene alive here in the west of Ireland there and I know you're always in demand for those wonderful ballads like the yeah. Rocks of Bourne. Another one of your great favourite, the Galway Shawl, as you yeah. mentioned there as well. But keep up the good I work. I think we've done that one before. We did, you, yeah. absolutely, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's, it's great to have you on the show, John. Continue the good work and the great singing there of the ballads. Okay, Henry. Thank you very much. Yeah. My next guest plays a different type of music. Not that familiar here in the west of Ireland. Bluegrass music, but certainly uh, they are making quite an impact here and indeed beyond this part of the country as well. Colm Henry is the lead singer with the band and what's the actual name? Uh, I know it's, it's related to the area, Colm. The Black Sod Bay Bluegrass Band. Wow, okay. How long have you been together? Well, uh, we started maybe just before the, the pandemic came along and we played together just for fun and uh, the crack. But uh, we're hoping to get back together again and maybe maybe go on the road a little. Yeah. And what kind of reaction you get from audiences in relation to bluegrass music? Well, we get a great reaction, actually. A lot of people love it. People, you think, that had no respect for it or time for it. They actually love it. And uh, so it's going on pretty well so far. I think you were telling me earlier on, actually, that bluegrass music actually originated from, from Ireland. Well, a lot of the music uh, went with the immigrants. They brought the, the music with them, their fiddles and their all that kind of thing, and the songs, the sad songs. Mm. And uh, this one in particular that we're, we're uh, going to do tonight, I think it originated partly in Ireland and England and went to America back in the 18th yeah. century. I, I've heard a few century. versions of it. I think Big Tom actually did a version of it as well, called When the Roses Bloom Again. When the Roses Bloom Again. number indeed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it has been for many years, you know. Well, we're certainly looking forward to it. The other members of the band are? Are Tony Conway and Pete MacArthur. Great. Well, here they are. The Black South Bay Bluegrass Boys.
They were roaming in the gloaming when the roses were in bloom. A soldier and a sweetheart, brave and true. And their hearts were filled with sorrow, for their thoughts were on tomorrow. As she penned a rose upon a coat of blue. Do not ask me, love, to linger, for you know not what to say. For duty calls your sweetheart's name again, and your heart should not be sighing. If I be among the dying, I'll be with you when the roses bloom again. When the roses bloom again beside the river, and the robin redbreast sings his sweet refrain, in the days of old anxiety, I'll be with you, sweetheart mine. I'll be with you when the roses bloom again. In the rattle of the battle came a whisper soft and low. A soldier who had fallen in the fray. I am dying, Captain, dying, and I know that I must go. But I have to tell you before I pass away. There's a far and distant river where the roses are in bloom. A sweetheart who is waiting there for me. And I pray it's there you take me. I've been faithful, don't forsake me. I'll be with you when the roses bloom again. When the roses bloom again beside the river, and the robin redbreast sings his sweet refrain. In the days of old anxiety. I'll be with you, sweetheart mine. I'll be with you when the roses bloom again. When the roses bloom again beside the river, and the robin redbreast sings his sweet refrain. In the days of old anxiety, I'll be with you, sweetheart mine. I'll be with you when the roses bloom again. I'll be with you when the roses bloom again.